Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, this is a prototype, it's actually three prototypes, as the program will vary, uh, of a fun little circuit that talks to you. Uh, in this case, it's a intruder alert. Uh, the final version will actually have a dedicated PCB. I've got uh, these three different boards wired directly to a bugger board, and if you haven't seen our bugger boards, uh, they're prank boards. Check our store for the bugger. I'm not going to get into it. But anyway, uh, in the final version, what this will do is you'll close the door and let's pretend that's the door being closed. And w when the uh, slot sensor actually opens and it's not breached anymore, the alarm will go off. In this case, I haven't inverted the logic yet. Uh, again, it's a prototype. But let me breach the sensor and you'll hear what it has to say. <laughs> and it'll do that every time you breach it. Now in the case of the uh, audio sensor and the light sensor, you can actually adjust sensitivity. Uh, for the audio sensor, if you can calibrate it so that if uh, you make a little bit of noise or a lot of noise, it'll activate the sound bite. Uh, in the case of the light sensor, once I invert the logic on the light sensor circuitry, uh, or rather the program, we, we can make it into a laser security system so that when the laser is breached, uh, you again hear this. So let's help hook up the, uh, the microphone, the audio sensor. Luckily the audio sensor, the laser, and the slot sensor all are interfaceable using the three wires, five volts, ground, and, and uh, signal. So right now, let me just I have it tuned so that it picks up only on loud sounds. Let me just give it a clap. Um, I can tune the sensitivity with this onboard variable resistor, potentiometer. Um, and actually, a customer of mine wants to do something similar to this using the audio uh, sensor to make one of the uh, dog sound bites from the movie Up. So, <laughs> my master made this for me so I can talk. You know, uh, if you've ever seen that movie, it's kind of funny. Uh, I'm going to be talking with the customer actually about it based on this specific circuit after I'm done with this video. Anyhow, uh, I, again, I can make it really sensitive or I can make it not so sensitive like right now because I'm always talking and I'm not activating it. But once I make a really loud sound... Lastly, let's look at the the uh, light sensor. Now, I haven't inverted the uh, si the signal in the program, so if this device sees light, it's going to activate the uh, the audio bite. Now, we want it so that if it sees darkness, that will happen. So, if I have a laser pointed at the light sensor right here, and then you breach that light sensor, the output will will will, uh, will change, and obviously the chip will detect it, trigger the sound bite. So if I plug it in right now, automatically, because it's seeing light, which I can tune the sensitivity, uh, again, using the variable resistor, if I plug, in, plug it in, it's going to automatically trigger the sound bite. With this current software, it won't with the final software. So right now I've got light, or darkness on the LDR. And again, it will be inverted for the final program, but as soon as I move my hand, and again, if I leave it like that, it will keep, uh, it'll keep re-triggering. So, that's that. I'm going to unplug it, because it gets kind of, uh, it gets kind of annoying, but again, I can program whatever sound bites I want, uh, into this board. And it's kind of neat because all of these neat little Arduino sensors can interface directly with it. And as you can see, on the bottom of the board, I've got the wires soldered directly to my microprocessor. Uh, that's not ideal. I've got PCBs on, on the way that have uh, basically a three-pin header so I can go uh, plug female to female directly from the uh, selected sensor to the board. 
And that's that. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found this kind of entertaining. Uh, I, I was looking online for a bunch of different intruder alerts or security breach audio bites, but they're expensive. You have to buy them, and, uh, you know, just for the sample video, I just wanted something inexpensive. Um, I was going to put some Nintendo sound bites on there because I love programming Nintendo sound bites into these things, but this worked specifically for this application. So, thanks for watching, guys. I sincerely appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day.